Ah, nice. With Jin. Ah, nice. I hit Ryujin super fast with Armor King and then uh, got demoted like three times in a row the other day and I was just like, you know when you're just having a really shit run and you just tell yourself, okay, I need to stop playing. But I didn't stop and I kept losing. <laughs> so now I'm like, fuck ranked. Yep. Yep. So I'm going to stay off it for a little while, stick to playing league matches, see how that goes. But this should be a good one. This should be a really good one. Um, we've got Coop Star against Rem. And uh, Coop plays a couple of characters, going with King. Uh, he's got a really solid Jin as well. So I uh, wonder if he uh, will switch if he loses, but let's, let's see what happens. Ah, okay. Man, Coop's uh, movement is so sharp. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. They want to show off their slick movement is all it is. My backdash is better than your backdash. Yep, he's been playing Noctis recently, so I'll be super interested to see if he busts out the Noctis. I think it's quite early days, um, but man, that would be great to see. <laughs> You're not a fan of Noctis. Right, right, yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's certain characters. There's a separate online tier list. We all know it. Um, and and Noctis is is definitely up there online. Yep. That would be nice. Nobody ever wave dashes with King though, do they? It's too much effort. They do a single crash dash into whatever. Yeah, snap, snap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's the one who kind of uh, pioneered the, the most efficient way of doing it. He's made loads of tutorial videos on, on the best way to do it as well, but it's still too much effort to the extent where only he does it. Ah, uh, possibly, possibly, yeah. There's a, there's actually a strong culture of Australian kings. Uh, one of the best Armour King players when, when Armour King first came out in DR was an Australian player by the name of Shukadai and he pioneered so much of the tech which is still relevant today. But I haven't really kept up with what's going on there. He's a fairly honest character though, to the extent where you're not really going to get robbed if you don't know too much about it. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. How, well, how do you feel about down back three? Do you think down back three is reactable? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, the stream is saying they can't hear you, Josh. Let me try and enable you. It might be, uh, it might be my settings. I'll just have a quick look. There you go. <laughs> I was doing it in the main settings. Ah, see okay. If that's fixed it. So yeah, let us know if you can hear Josh now. One two, one two. <laughs> no, I can't hear me still. Oh. Oh, there we not... go. Yep. I'm oh, you through. can. Cool. There we go. Great. Okay. Sweet. Perfect timing. Just, <laughs> just about in, to start the just set. Just in time for the fireworks. <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Hmm. You might want to mute the uh, the background stream now. Yeah, yeah, mute. Uh, yeah, yeah, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> All good. There we go. So the, so I'm such a noob. That's <laughs> no same here. I've I've not really streamed much from the channel itself. All the matches have been happening in an inconvenient times for me. So other people have been streaming, thankfully. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's see. Now, one thing to look out for with Rem, though, is he's very, very, very good at placing Feng's barge. Like, I was uh, experimenting with Feng a while ago, and we mirrored, and the mm. amount of them I was getting hit by it was, it was unreal. Yeah, he's very much an instinct player, isn't he? Once he has kind of the feel of the pace and the flow of the match, he becomes really hard to stop. Yes. Yes, definitely. Straight on the fourth floor, but not chasing him down. Seems mm. content to play a uh, long-range game against Feng. And this is the kind of stuff Rem loves, you know, the kind of setups he has, uh, yes. especially around his back turn and sidestepping game. Yeah, definitely. Well, King's playing pretty passive so far. Yep, very safe as well. Yes. That was one of the big buffs in but Season no, 2, I, back I four becoming plus four. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's tough that. to use that oh. back four, uh, the plus frames on it, because you go into back turn, but still a nice little yes. buff. Ah, very oh, nice Tiana twist it. Oh, he's got the life oh, advantage. Run away. Run away. Step away. Run step away. away. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you going in? <laughs> oh, nice uh, step. Oh, sidestep hop kick. Okay. Oh, he misjudged the. Oh, <laughs> 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 I give enough. it a 10 for effort. Yeah, yeah. That's a 10 you may as well try to start at the start of the set, right? When you when you, you have to gauge what kind of shit will work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I got a question for you. Can Feng's Portal Circle Forward 1, the big elbow that hits slow, isn't it minus 14 on block? Uh, it is minus 14, yeah. So he should get a wall standing. No, his wall standing 2 2 is 15 frames, so. Yeah, but I was All thinking his full crack down forward 2, isn't that 14? No, it's not, no, no. Oh, is it not? No. Oh, that sucks. Buff King. But his wall standing forward is one of the chunkier ones, so it's not all bad. True. The worst thing about not the. Uh, oh, oh, nice block, but no, no punish. No! Dear, dear, dear. Oh, nice tombstone. Oh, tombstone Good What's the follow-up? Well. Yeah, oh, he, he did the right... Well, it's a guessing game, and he guessed correctly. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow, oh, no, from go, downtown. Okay, can he get a crack? I know he can't, but... Moonsault, <laughs> okay. Nice. <laughs> that, that really annoys me as an Armour King player, how much better King's Moonsault is than his. Yeah, but that... Well, that's because King's just got, like, a big, chunky... Yes. Yeah. Which exactly. hitbox in moonsault. I mean, to be honest with you, I'd take a worse moonsault with the ability to actually sidestep things. Mm, mm. That's me personally. <laughs> oh, oh, the throws are move. coming out now. You better attack it. You better attack it, Rem. Oh, oh <laughs> it hurts to watch. <laughs> oh, the running knee. You could have got guaranteed combat. Half bar gone in two well. moves. Yeah, you're right. The movement is, is so slick. It's such a well placed uh, hop kick. Kicks over the, uh, is he going for the ground grab? He is. Unbroken, that's game. That is game. Yep. Woo! Rick Flair! Woo! The, the two break throw did not break it. Man just tapped out. Mm. That's one no kick. That's what King does to you. If you make one or two wrong decisions, uh, your bar's gone. Your Rip. life's gone. Rip. <laughs> No, I do find myself playing, uh, or I want to say maybe four or five days a week with um, uh, with RC, uh, mm. Aaron, the, uh, the King player. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, pretty well versed in fighting against King. It's uh, funny seeing a different take on him. Yeah, it's, it's, he's one of the most expressive characters in terms of how differently he can be, he can be played. You know, you get those Kings yes. that are pure pokes, really safe. Kings that are, you know, purely setup based with throws, 
Others that like to rely on the chain grabs and all the damage they can get out of that. Um, yeah. Such, such so variety right. in the character. Mm. Uh, it's cool when you see the old school characters because these characters have been built up and built up and built up over attacking games, just more and more tools. So you get like definitive styles, whereas like new school characters, you have to play them a certain way. Yeah. Whereas like an OG character, you get a lot more uh, creativity. Absolutely. I do feel a little bit bad for Ramsfang there. I don't feel like he necessarily did too much wrong. But... No, yeah, it's it's a case of uh, he he didn't get to run his game, and Coop absolutely ran well, his. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. I I was honestly I was expecting to see a more um, a more nuts in your face take on King, but then again, if he's a Jin player, I suppose he is more comfortable quite playing at mid range because that's where you grind. It's a really interesting mix of using uh, quite slick movement um, to, to cause little micro whiffs, but also mixing it up with really sudden grabs. It's quite effective. Yes. Yes, definitely. Get ready for the next battle. 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 Well, let's look for an adaptation. Oh, yeah. snap! Fe uh, not Feng, Kazia. <laughs> ah, interesting. Okay. Like the anti-Feng. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you couldn't get further away, could you? No, you really couldn't. I actually, I, I will say this, I really, really, really like Kazia against King. Mm, mm. Uh, like as a, ma a matchup, this is just horrible for King, but uh, it does take a very, very strong player to bring that out in Kaz. Sure. What what what's your what what are you what's your thinking around it? The kind of threat of the of the electric stopping kind of grab setups and things like that. Electric stopping the grab setups. Um, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Demon scissors is really really good on the wake of options. Um, ah. Hell sweep obviously is always an issue. Um, <clears throat> he, he just gets really good junky punishment. And King's back one doesn't really matter because Kazi is not really looking at it, so he won't sure. too hard. And there it was straight away. The electric comes out. Honestly, if I was Ram, I'd just get the knockdown and I'd go absolutely nuts. Now that, now that Kazi has got forward, 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 you've got legit Okium. What the hell wall bounce was that? <laughs> nice break. Well, that's actually quite, that's quite a nice giant swing setup, actually. I like that. It is, yeah, I do oh, good block, exact but... same thing with Armor King. Everybody's waiting for that second hit. Nice. No break. <clears throat> okay, no Okie. Okay. Ah, what an escape. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> He must have done a command grab like Tombstone or Tier 1 or Twister. It's only the, the uh, normal grabs or Giant Swing or Shining Wizard that will grab out of the air. I know, but it's like 80% Actually, no, Tier 1 or Twister should have grabbed as well. He did, yeah, he did the yeah, one exactly. throw. <laughs> that wouldn't have grabbed him out of the air. It must have been Tombstone. Literally the only throw that wouldn't have worked there. Man just neutral him king. Uh, mad plus friends on that down back 4 King Kazir as well. You can't really do much about it. Yeah. King, especially as you can't side step. Ah. Tombstone. Oh, good tombstone, he's working it now, he's, he's keeping him in place with the down forward ones, the two ones. Nice whip on it. Tried to, uh, tried to chase down a wake up side set there with that dash in back down back two. Yeah, so I've seen Coop do that quite a bit. He does the, uh, he does a knockdown, a, a kind of mid-range knockdown, and he goes for the, the flying cross chop forward forward one plus two. And because he yes. does it from so far away, it hits so meaty that he gets mega plus frames after it. It's a really interesting setup. Does he uh, does he try, does he space it so that it hits low or something? Exactly, yeah, yeah. It hits really late into the animation, so he's on at least plus God knows how much. It varies from being punishable to being plus heavily. And if you do it at the absolute tip range, it counts as a low, so you have to block it low. You can't block it standing. Right. Yep. Oh, good at four three out the uh, train right there. Oh wow. Oh, and the hammer, oh, no punish. No punish. Oh, he could have hot kicked the. Tsunami kicks as well. Okay, yeah, and, and King's hop kick absolutely reaches. Yeah, yeah, it does. Ah, he's... Oh, good. <laughs> nice. Oh, that was beautiful. Yep, that's game. Good wall pressure with the back fours as well. Made him panic. Oh. He, he needs to start maximizing this punishment a little more. That was minus 14. Yep. Not the hardest, like, not the hardest of this punish as well, because the block spin's quite, quite substantial. Aren't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Very obvious animation as well. Let's see if he adjusts. Although a great counter poke, though. You can use uh, King's full crash down for two if you do it instantly as a good counter poke against. Yeah, business. from uh, like mid range, you see any kind of wolf and you're in crouch. That's getting punished. Yeah, yeah, 
Jesus, aren't they? Ah, oh, nice. Okay, well, Arrows in three. He's getting slightly more confident and he's playing it. Oh, nice break. <laughs> good break, good break. They're really using the timer in these rounds. 15 seconds left. His consistency on breaking giant swing, aside from the first one he got hit by, has been so good that I wonder if Rem is just hitting one whenever he sees a Broken King. I think so. I think, the I think the fear of the giant swing has got him hitting that one every time. Mm. Yeah, definitely. Of course, that opens it up, itself up to Muscle Buster's tombstones. Yep. It's difficult. It is difficult. Mm. I mean, you can take two approaches, I guess, uh, when, when playing against King, when dealing with the mm. throws. You can try and, based on the environment situation you're in, guess which likely throw is coming. You know, if it's back to the wall, it's going it's likely to be a giant swing. You're back to the wall, it could be a tombstone or a tier one twister. And base yeah. your throw break on that with, it, with looking at the arms to some extent. Obviously, it's a lot tougher with King because of his giant swing and shining wizard looking so similar. Um, or you can yeah, be definitely. more predictive, avoid the throw altogether, some ducks, uh, sidesteps, or you know, fast pokes to stop it. Uh, and it seems like Rem is, is kind of just standing up, waiting for the throw in, and hoping to break the giant swing, which he has done consistently. Generally, versus the King players I play against, they rely more so on the uh, on the Shining Wizard slash uh, Giant Swing mix up uh, yeah. because they, they look so similar, especially if you can do a dash Giant Swing. So, uh, my preferred way of dealing with it with King, say I'm in a tournament, would be to try and beat the throws with sidestep. And then if a throw actually hits me and it's the Giant Swing uh, Shining Wizard mix up, I'll assume it's Shining Wizard because the forward forward's going to realign. So I'll 1 plus 2 after sidestep because it should beat the Giant Swing. Yeah. That, that's how I deal with it. But there are yeah. ways around it still. It's a good way of doing it. So 2-0 to Coop. Yes. Okay. That's been a good join so far. I'm quite impressed with this king. Yeah. I can't believe he's doing raw moonsault though. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, that was crazy. It's even funnier that it worked. I was like, yo. He had the read, I guess, because especially because he wasn't pressing any buttons after the back fours when his back was to the wall. Although that's kind of a curse in most Mishima players. I mean, take Heihachi out of the equation and most Mishima players sort of freeze up when you get right in the face. Mm. Mm. And Kazuya, I guess, is lacking in, in some of the panic moves that other, other characters have. Doesn't have a reliable sway back kind of move. Um, doesn't have a lot with, no. a, with a built-in sidestep. Well, or... I mean, he's got his back one plus two, but it's not safe anymore. And it was never particularly good at evading anyway. Yeah, it doesn't, I mean, doesn't give could, him a lot of range, does it? Make it? Exactly. I mean, you could make a case for his power crush, but even then, it's still kind of bad. Yep. No real crush options either. Mm. You know, a lot of the time they use instant while standing 1-2 just because of how fast Twin Pustons is. And, and it's a solid option. Yep. Oh, he's gone back to Feng. Interesting. No, I, I agree with that, actually. Our like, season. Kaz can do work, but I feel like he'd have to be more aggressive than he was playing him. So yeah. I, I don't think that style of Kazi is going to work out here. Yep. He's, Coop is absolutely thriving on, on his hesitance to press buttons. Mm. So uh, yes. he, needs to, he needs to change that up. RC is absolutely rubbing his hands in glee at the prospect of a, a king mirror. <laughs> yeah, if, Co if Coop can hear this, don't, don't even bother with king against RC. Just pick Jin. Mm. Don't even bother with it. Oh, now he's really getting into it. There we go. Now we're in the fang flood. Yeah. It's nice. Oh, oh, that was nice. It, that, and that's what we were talking about with Rem. Once he's in his flow, it becomes very difficult to stop. Mm. <clears throat> Especially because Feng's options are so varied, you can't shut all of them down. You have to yeah. you can limit it to maybe three or four different options, but that's three or four different ways Feng can kill you. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, he didn't break it that time. Oh, that's but, gonna hurt like hell. The time when he needed to break it most. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, Interesting. God. Standing three. That was actually better. To be fair, that was actually better for Coop though. That the throw didn't do more damage because yeah. he could have put Feng in rage. Feng could have gone straight out of the walls by waking up in straight into the rage drive guard. True, just true. Himself the space. Yeah, nice, nice. No big risks. That down forward one. I hate Feng down forward one so much. It's so good. Mm. Oh, oh, wow. yeah. oh, it didn't quite capitalize, but still nice. Oh, that was nice. Totally had a boy gather there. <laughs> mm, good conversion on the counter hit back one. Ah, good hop kick. Oh, kick you. oh wow, the setup. The worst hop kick in the game. Yeah, that was hard. That was hard. Pretty <laughs> yes. 
He's in rage. Oh my god! Oh, what's what? Happened? what? Game over! Ooh. That hit everybody <laughs> watching. <laughs> hey, oh, what? why? It's the okay. mental, it's the mental guess, damage now. He's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's he even right. capitalize on it. Oh wow, good read on the also block, but no punish. No again, punish. That's what you get. Got to take the launchers when they're given to you. Mm. King can easily reach it. He doesn't need to rely on his wall standing move. He can just use full crouch while uh, forward, down forward too. Yep. Slightly off axis, good and he realised it. There you go. That's uh, that's sort of what I was talking about in uh, in beating giants when we were the side step. Although yeah. Up forward too much as well. Good game by Remna. Well played. Mm. So Definitely the more of the style. Two, one to Coop, I think. Yep. Okay. Cool. Made that out of the summer, though. <laughs> 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 Uh, it's just as it, you know what it's just as well Rem did Rem won that match because the, the amount of mental damage. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I mean, you could still see him reeling from it in the next round because he stood there and took a grab straight away with no movement, but he recovered I'm just really well. To be it, fair, and I'm still feeling the damage. <laughs> <laughs> epic move choice at an epic time. <laughs> So Coop has character options as well, but I, I don't think he'll switch. Um, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. The evolution, the, the way the way Rem has kind of changed his game plan, he didn't really make any accommodations defensively. He just went ham and ran his game. Um, and I wonder if, if he'll be able to keep that going for the full set or Coop will do something to change it up. Yep, me too. Me too, Ash. I would be interested in seeing his gin. I really like his gin. Josh, you still there? Your mic was a bit crackly there. Nope, nope. I can't hear you. Is it back? I'll, yeah, you're back? back now. Yeah, yeah, I got you now. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, Don't buy your headsets off eBay, people. <laughs> <laughs> so he's sticking with King. He's sticking with King. No, I agree with that, to be fair. It's, it's, yeah, for me, yeah. it was yeah. Yeah. Okay, trying to shut him down with the uh, down forward two. It's um, risky to play the down, uh, down two uh, down forward two game against Bang though because you're going to get back one so much. If you want to mm -hmm. sort of slug it oh, he missed it. Oh, he's not a good punish. Okay. Oh, oh. they're creating whips, they're not, creating capitalizing whips on them. not capitalizing on them. Okay, good giant swing. Okay, good giant swing. One poke. Finish One it. Poke. Finish it. Mm. 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 You see the set up at the wall. See the set up at the wall. Good read on the throw. Good read on the throw. Chopping at the ankle. Chopping at the ankle. Nope, that's not the nope, finish. That's only minus eleven. Only minus eleven. Josh, uh, I Josh, think there's uh, an echo coming from somewhere. Also, we can't hear you anymore.
really solid poking game now coming from Rem. Oh, nice while standing three. Straight to the wall. He didn't have faith in the wall. Didn't go for the full wall combo. It's fine though. Feng is absolutely excels at the wall. He can keep him there all day if he wants to. He doesn't have to go for these crazy long range setups. Oh, could have got a launch. Nice hit confirm. What's the setup? Another people's elbow. I like it. It's actually pretty safe on block, so why not? Nice. Plus two on uh, block. Wow. Big hit. Get to the wall. Shining Wizard. Oh, ground throw. Nice break. May have been worth going for the balcony break there. Uh, oh, he's got the launch. What's the setup here? Plus eight. Nice. Oh my god! Perfectly timed. Happened to go for a jab. Crushed him out. There we go. I think I've got the headset working again. Are we back? Yes, you're back now. Yep. Okay, cool. What did I miss? Uh, some some uh, really interesting action. He down back forward him from downtown with Feng, you know, the massive sweep. It just worked. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're just going, okay, they're absolutely just... slugging at each other now. There's like, the movement's gone out the window. Oh, Ali kicks! Oh my god. <laughs> oh. I love this. This is Rago King. I'm it is, it. yeah, yeah. They both said, fuck it. You know, forget clean Tekken, forget the movement. Big tumps, big slugs are coming out. Sweeps from all oh, over the man, place. Man, man told him all about Rago King. I love it. Yep. Oh, that was sick. So, 3 1 Coop. In danger of running away with it at this rate. So, what do you think for Rem at this point? Do you, sl do you slug it out with Feng or do you go for another character? I think I would stick it, stick to it with Feng. I think the key mm. is really playing it less risky when he's got the life lead. There's been a couple of situations where he's had kings back to the wall, or he's had a significant yeah. life lead, and he's still going for these crazy raggle setups. And that's the time where you switch it up and you play a slightly more keep out Feng. Um, and, and he doesn't need to take those same risks. So I think more of a kind of uh, in the moment thing, where at the start, yeah, yeah go full ball, play your game, run your setups, get that damage early on. And then let him come to you. Let King take the risk. He's not great at breaking people down. If you can see the throws coming, uh, you can make one or two correct reads when you've got the life lead and you've taken the round. So that's what I would suggest. But let's see if yeah, he, to be fair, if he does what's, that. The, what's the worst he's going to do to you down back three or something? <laughs> exactly, exactly. The lows are, are you know, a joke. Hmm. That's been a good set so far. Hmm. I mean, it's not been free for Koop at all, uh, even though it, it, no. it's it's pretty one-sided score. The actual matches have been super close and the rounds, you could tell by the fact that the rounds are going down to the zero second almost every time. So, you know, very tense. This comes down to clutch. Yep. Well, thinking about it, I haven't really seen any big combo conversions off of uh, off of Rem's thing so far either. I haven't seen anything uh, making particularly good use of the wall, aside, aside from the positional advantage. That's true, um, and and it's the same with Coop actually. The, 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 it's not a, it's not been a, a set about big combos at all, or you know, big wall carries. Uh, it's really been kind of that odd hit. There, oh, the we're throw. on my favourite stage. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> best uh, OST. Best best best. Yeah, excuse me while I just again. max the volume on my TV. <laughs> There we go. We're all the way up. 50. Let's Controversial, do but I, I think this is the best battle theme in any Final Fantasy. Uh, it's up there. For me, it's definitely up there. Although, not even the best battle theme in Final Fantasy 15, though. I mean, the game itself is terrible, but the soundtrack is amazing. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, you, know, you know NVIDIA, the, when you fight uh, the Niflheim Empire, that, that soundtrack. Right. Uh, that's, that's my favourite battle theme in... Uh, yeah, the, the OST is definitely the best thing about that game. Yeah, it is. Anyway, back to this, and and it's pretty much oh, always. Oh, oh, I love that throw. throw. Oh, that throw makes no sense, but what I love that? it. It's like 50 damage, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> That's so chunky. 
See, this yeah, is what we were talking about. Great game against he, this yep. is what Remy's doing. Gold have. ham, just don't even let uh, Coop have get a chance to get started, and and that's where he's had the most success. And then when Coop's got no HP to play with, just do the aggressive safe pokes that don't exactly. do much damage. But they don't need to do much damage. They just need to shut King down. Exactly. Great use of the down too. I think High Crush is from so early in this animation as well. Mm. Oh, that oh, was nice. Oh, back four. That was perfect. Nice adjustment for okay, the angle as well. Okay. Oh, perfectly yep, done. Wow. Round three. So again, now we're seeing the barge placement. Mm. Playing with a lot more confidence now. Yes. Oh, oh wow! Okay, we get a punish. We get a punish. Really nice punish here. Could have gone for the easy bar. I thought he'd missed the whip punish for a moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just shows how much recovery time there is on a whip on that. Yeah, like a day. Mm. Oh, okay. nice down two again. Okay. Oh, hot kicks and straight out. saying he's had enough. Okay, yep, need him <laughs> in the chin. Okay, the setup, oh, but he didn't. He didn't fall victim to it. Yeah, he didn't rush in afterwards. Oh my god! Oh, what? Clearly, this is uh, choreographed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's got, he keeps going for the Atlas Hammer. No, no. Oh, okay, okay. Yep, nicely shut down. Yep. Interesting. 3 2. Yeah. Ram playing like a wall that game. Mm. So, 3 2 to Coop, I think. Yep. Cool. But that was like a very quick match. Uh, I mean, yeah, that was yeah. He just got savaged. Yep. It's interesting that the the matches that Coop won were a lot more drawn out, almost battles of attrition. But when Rem wins, they're absolute steamroller matches. I wonder if that's having any kind of psychological effect on uh, on Coop. I don't know. I think that just comes down to a player thing. I mean, do you not feel exactly the same way, say, if you were to play a set offline with Veggie? You know what I mean? Like you yeah. either just about win or you get absolutely crushed. But I think that's just a player thing. Mm -hmm. I'd, I, I don't know. I mean, it was a, it was a bad three rounds loss, but you know, it was overextending. So it's one of those. Yeah. No one better at killing you for swinging than Fangs. Well, Steve, but otherwise. <laughs> They really need to sort out the lobbies and tech in. All they needed to add was a spectator option for people in the lobby, and it would have been so much yes. easier. Yes. Although, not as bad as it used to be. <laughs> I will True. say that. Not as bad True. as it used to be. And they are adding some changes, aren't they? In, uh, oh, tomorrow? No, actually, in two days. Yes. In two days, we get um, practice, uh, some practice mode settings in the warm up area, so you can put counter hit on, you can put rage drive enabled. Um, oh, sorry. You See, know, now this is one. how I know you don't get paid at the end of the month. I get paid on the last working day of every month, which obviously falls <laughs> on the 28th. So to me, the 28th is not two days ago. To me, the 28th is midnight tomorrow. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> it's true. I don't. I don't get paid. The other <laughs> it is not two days away. It is midnight tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Very good. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Feng stage, okay. Oh, I love this stage. The amount of um, touch of death combos that were in Tekken 5 on this stage was insane. Every character had oh, one. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, T5 was just before I started. I started, well, I say just before I started playing Tekken right at the end of Tekken 6, like maybe the last month of it. Right, 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 right. But, Which is so pretty I much when I stopped playing. The OGs telling me about how bust every character was. It's really yeah, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> That is game balance. If one character's broken, break every other character. That's I, that's the way I like it. That's balance. how FT works. It's yeah, so that's how it's fun. Hmm, Rem going back to kind of more cagey playstyle. Uh, we'll see if it works. He, he wasn't terribly successful doing this before. Okay, that was nice. To be fair, I ain't got a problem with that. That was nice. Hmm. No duck. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, he needs to start representing the uh, down the better the damn one tour he is gonna get one. Yeah. Okay, good can't hit on the jab. Coop definitely playing with a lot more hesitance now. Mm. 
great whiff punish. Mm. Oh, that must have been an uh, error. This is the ultimate pack up. Beats all of this. Okay. Nice. Okay. Good damage. I think that's guaranteed, isn't it? It seems to be, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think you can tech and jab, actually. No, I'm not sure it is. Well, I know with Peace you can stand up into a mid parry, and uh, that really upsets the King community, but. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise. Nah, he blocked it low. Oh, blocked Very it nice. There you go. There you go. Yeah, it's spaced it perfectly for the low hit, but uh, yeah. I'm sorry, coming. That's ah, unfortunate, nice actually, because spacing that to that sweet spot is actually really difficult. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, great count hit. Okay. Okay, Rem's making a statement now. <laughs> yeah, and, and Coop really, it, it, it's, you know, what we talked about. He, he has slightly, it seems, taken his foot off the gas. Um, mm. and he needs to regroup mentally. Yep. Um, okay, I, I disagree with you earlier, but I think, okay, maybe now possibly think about a character switch. Mm. Or even just a, a kind of mental reset, right? Sit, take, yeah. take this time in between. And this is a really interesting dynamic of, of this league, which wouldn't be the case offline. You get this massive gap between matches, which is both, you know, depending on the player, it's a positive or a negative, but it is an opportunity yes. to really assess and take stock of what happened and what you can change and what you can do differently. Load up, load up tech and chicken in the matches between. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> which, which we're totally not doing. Rolls eyes. <laughs> <laughs> because we know all the frame data by heart for every character. You might, I fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> no, do you know what? I know all the frame data for every mission with plus geese. That's probably about it. Right. I know it for the characters I play, and, and that's it. Yeah. <clears throat> Other than that, it's only really block punishment. As far as, like, the nuances and, you know, it's plus four or if it's plus six. Sure, exactly, yeah. I don't know, thinking about frame data, I normally think like little plus, big plus, or mega plus, if that makes sense. Yeah, and, and that's really all you need to know. Or even it, little plus is, <laughs> the copy pasta has begun in the stream chat, I see. Um, the Even Excellent. if it's just, if it's neutral or even minus one or two, that's kind of all in the same range, right? You know, it's prime yeah. for a magic four afterwards or a sidestep afterwards. Yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my god, what's happened to the stream chat? So <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. He's obviously got a notepad document where he's saved all of these. Love it. Oh, this man should get paid for his spam. <laughs> and partners in crime, Xanthan and the genius. Literally only here to troll the stream. I think he's trolling you, actually, looking at it. Not yeah, no, 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 it is. Yeah, it's specifically. It's, um, <laughs> I think that would have come up regardless of who was playing or who was on commentary. They, they've just got this on their notepad oh, document. Real. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so we've got to switch to Jin. Oh, this is what, what I was quite interested in seeing. Let's see if uh, I'm going to throw needed. this out there uh, because I was a Jin main for five years. Mm. This is actually a really funny matchup because every Feng player in the world is convinced that Jin wins this free. Every right. Jin player in the world is convinced that Feng <laughs> wins this free. <laughs> they're actually fairly similar in a lot of ways. You know, a lot of good yeah, evasive options, long range pokes, good lows. Yeah, exactly. You can, well, they basically play the same meta. Mm. But whereas Jin gets the uh, gets the better block punishment, Fang gets the better neutral. Right, right. There's, uh, there's, uh, but when you play against like people who made these characters and they actually run this match, there's nothing but hate. Like they mm. just, <laughs> just spend the whole set moaning about each other's characters. Yeah, really yeah. <laughs> okay, great, great forward four, good conversion. Oh uh, no, no, no! Another back two one there, and you would have got a kill. Yeah. Oh, here we go. All right, still takes again. They're making this forward for safe, doesn't block the low though, and pop kick because why not? Okay, back ten minutes up. Oh, what a barge! Yeah. Nicely done. Okay, 
you're not doing a whole lot, but you just straightens that forward four again. Mm. That forward four's putting a lot of work in. It's, it's always going to, but... I don't know, if I was Rem, I'd, think, I'd start thinking about maybe at range 2 going for a couple of, like, empty tempo steps. Yeah. if he does throw out the floor, he's going to come straight into the uh, into tempo 2. Great bar, Jackalus. Good launch, though. Let's look at the wall. Ah, uh, bad bar. No finish. Okay, safe on block. Oh, okay! Where was the combo? Closing it out. Just one on coop, just gotta put to bed now. Mm. Okay, got this pressure. With the new 4 2 not challenged, should be looking for that with Kang Kans. Kang doesn't give you a lot of opportunities to whiff punishing this game, but when he does, you need a full launch out of it. Yeah. Okay, that was plus four, kind of full crash, I think. Good break. No way out of that. Oh, sidestep four, I called it. <laughs> with a different character, like five games ago, I still called it. <laughs> Great duck on that damn back one as well. He was working up by the look of it. No! Yeah. Oh! This man will not finish his combo! Mm. Is this gonna kill? I don't think it is. It'll be alive just barely, I think. <laughs> Good patience. Okay, hell sweep. And no combo again! I know what he's going for, he's doing the season 2 combo, about 4-2-3, but he's just a little bit too early, that's when you get the 10-hit combo, so you right, can right. Okay, got 4-2 around the hop kick, nice two. These barges are starting to look suspect. Mm. Okay, <laughs> he follows it up! <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy Brain Bang takes it, that was sick! Ah. <laughs> uh. See, that's the sort of thing that you know that works only against somebody who knows the, who knows how to fight this yeah. matchup so well. You know, yeah. Like if you've if you've just read read up on Feng, you're always going to block the mid. But obviously, because because of the combo and what Feng's actually fishing for, you're never ever blocking the third hit. That was mm. nice. Wow. So Coop has pulled. Uh, sorry, Rem has pulled it back all the way. Yes. Very four nice. to three on match point now. Although that was actually a really good match with uh, with Jin, it was just Cube's combos. Yeah, he didn't he didn't mess a lot up. <clears throat> he didn't he didn't finish his plate with the combos, and he didn't capitalize on a couple of big whiffs, which, like you were saying, yes. they're not going to be coming along very often. You better be ready with your, your max damage. Yeah, exactly. And it doesn't always have to be um, you know a, a electric hook fist every time. Just just get something, get something on it. Mm. But don't let it go get away for free. Now, a lot of it, a lot of people will use either uh, either hop kick or uh, or dodge fist for their uh, whip punishment. Mm. I'll, I'll throw this out there. I'm a big advocate of doing gang cams, especially if you're off axis, because gang cams is, is minus 19 on block, but it tracks fully to both sides. If they've whiffed in your face, they're getting hit by it. Has surprising good forward range as well, and sized up gang cams is always going to be a legitimate tactic. Yeah, until it gets blocked, <laughs> <laughs> and, then you, and then you just feel like a fool. <laughs> but the while standing two as well at a kind of sweep distance is it has a lot of forward range useful that's a thought actually Jin's while rising two is 14 frames so it is launch punish uh, so Feng's low shoulder is, is launch punishable versus Jin yep. thinking about it such a great while standing move mm. it's actually uh, it actually gives you a lot more time than uh, than you would think for uh, for Jin's combo afterwards like the amount of uh, free time Jin has to get that first hit in after the mm. uh, while rising two launch it's almost akin to a class one launcher. Oh wow! In terms of watching, you can get like he can get a guaranteed big hop kick after it as as filler. <laughs> I've seen combat. that. Yeah, yeah. Although I will say I didn't see Coop really testing Rem's knowledge. Aside from aside from you know rinsing forward four. I'm a big fan of Jin's Crouching Demon Stance game, especially in Season 2 now that you can go into it off of 3-1. And yeah. obviously you can use the back one transition as a sort of back sway. You can use the down 1 plus 2 to high crush. I'd love to see some CDS 1 plus 2 just to see how he reacts to that. I mean, when, when you get popped in the face with that, um, it, it's, it's, it tells you a lot about the other guy, how he reacts to dealing and with that. And it's much better than in Tag 2 as well. Like, it still has Tag 2's pushback, but it used to be minus 17 on block. It's only minus 13 now. I don't think at range Fang could even barge it. Mm. I might be wrong, though. 
that being said, I'd be surprised if well, if, if the move were to be thrown out, I'd be very surprised to see Feng Barge at first try, even if he was in the move. Yeah, exactly. Can't get on the inside step up, no combo, but jump over and do it the other side. <laughs> Doesn't want to take the wall, though. Yeah. Oh, what? Okay, back one. Oh, what a block of us! <laughs> no! Oh, Cube, what are you doing? You could have, like, parried that into death. Mm. That's true. He hasn't implemented the parry much at all. Oh, it's so good. Well, it's so good against them blocking us. Mm. Okay, going for the 50-50, but okay, no mix up. Oh, there we go. Exactly what we were saying. CDS 1 plus 2. Yeah. Yep. Round two. People so either if you're deal with blocks, that or they don't. If your opponent blocks you, he's forward 4, and they go into uh, and Bingo goes into Demon Sounds. If he does 1 plus 2, I believe it beats 14 frames or slower. Yeah, and so, obviously crushes jabs as well. Yeah, I mean, as Fang, if you ever see Jingo forward four, if he goes into Demon Stance, if you do back four, Jing can do nothing about it. He just has to cancel and block, and that mm. shuts it down entirely. But uh, if, it, if they want to play against it with something a little bit more elaborate with more damage, though, that's uh, when the one plus two opening themselves up. Good counter hit. Uh, messes up the cancel, but you still get a combo with that again. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, wow. Reset. Good. Uh, just straight um, into Rage uh, Will it kill? I think it will. That probably would kill. It was oh. early hit in the combo. Oh, he's still alive. Wow. Okay. Oh, floats him. That's game. Oh, no. my he's God. He's done it too late. He's done it too late. I thought he'd done that too slowly. Yeah, yeah, no, same. I was like, why not just go for the easy finish? But he got it. Oh. God, I was. That, that was some plunging. <laughs> oh, great punish. Yep. Minus 15 on block. Good old James Brown. Okay, season two. Oh combo man! Ender. Oh, he misses yep, the okay, extra damage. Four, but... Unfortunate. Okay, Rain's not being deterred though. Okay, just shifting away. Mid range. There's a forward four coming. It's a question of when. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> to be fair, I'd use the threat of the forward four just as license. Just go in and That's... just go in with Doc just there. I think that is down. the meta, isn't it? Yeah. Oh wow. No, it feels like it was a new thought but it wasn't built up on him. That would have been a wall bounce anyway. Mm. One of the best wall bounce <laughs> moves in the game. Combo anyway. <laughs> Man's daddy. No, 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 we're still doing the combo. Oh, great size death. Are you one of, are you one of those? Are you, are you one of these that, re that uh, ragdolls the uh, corpse full combo? Oh, obviously. You have to. Stay shining, instant shining wizard after, after the round's finished. <laughs> Good lad. I just talked about it earlier, actually. We just seen it, we just seen it there. Fenger went for a quarter of forward one. Uh, Jim blocks and got the long finish. Mm. And should get a nice wall combo here. Oh, nice. it's slightly misjudged. Yep. That was unlucky. Closed it out, though. Okay. Yep. Just locked out. So, down to last game. Wow. Oh, oh. What a set. This is actually really, really good. Yeah, super competitive. Yes, that's a funny one because if you look at the uh, the actual League Two leaderboard, it's it's a it's a really fiercely contested group. Yeah, and and this is the division I was most worried about. I thought that I may have got the balance slightly long, wrong in Division Two, um, but it seemed like people are just kind of almost counteracting each other's style. So even if you feel like one yes. player may be stronger against a certain player's style, it, it it just comes out and and you end up getting a really tight set like this. Yes, definitely. And also, I've noticed in Division Two, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of players maybe niche characters, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. There's Lilies Obviously, in there. Obviously, you've got Dom playing his Master Raven. You've got uh, we've got King in there. We've got a couple of Kings in there actually. There's uh, there's Fang, obviously. Well, not exactly niche, but there's Fang. Uh, there's a Lily player. Uh, Justin Xavier probably going to play Leo. Or Ling. He's been learning Ling again yeah. recently. Great, great. More more Ling show you. <laughs> So much. I could tell but, I could no, hear the enthusiasm in your voice. <clears throat> it is interesting though, because if you look at League One, you're seeing a lot of the season two meta uh, mm. being made by by players for whatever reason. You know, it's not like we we picked these characters because they were the meta; they just sort of became it. Um, whereas you're still seeing like the, the sort of like um, not quite top five, but around there, uh, you see it a lot more in it. There's, you know, you've got so you've got Josh A with his lore as well. That's going to be yeah. a problem for a lot of players. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Recently had a great showing against um, against Shimmer, who who didn't pick Law. 
No, he played Gigas. Why is Shimmer playing Gigas? Because he's an idiot. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> He's, uh, he, he's just, I mean, he doesn't have the time to commit to really getting good with the lore again, so he'd rather have fun with characters like I know, like but he already did that. He's been doing it for about 20 years now. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even get good, it's just stay in shape. Yeah, he doesn't even do that. <laughs> so, I think he's just bored. He's, he's finally bored of lore. It took a long, long time, but he's finally bored of lore. Just blows my mind. Hmm. I mean, I felt like it was kind of waning a little bit in Tag 2, like, um, because I used to play a lot in Nottingham, as you would imagine, I played a lot against, uh, against, um, Shimmer's Law and also Zai's. Yeah. Um, and towards the end of Tag 2, I definitely felt like Zai was the more dangerous of the two Law players, but... Yeah, he's Shimmer's definitely taking the mantle. Top. Yeah. So, last game, let's see what happens. He's sticking with Jin. Um... All the chips. Oh. All the marbles on the line. Good finish. Good finish. And again, yeah, he's getting a bit desperate now. with his half kicks here. Yeah, just a little bit. He's going to try and brute force it by the looks of it. Mm. <clears throat> That's good news oh. for Kuki. He just needs to rely on his back dash and his forward four and not run into back to back ones. Yeah, he should have had Kang Kang's ready for that for that barge. Yeah, Rem's already taken the initiative. There, Coop's going to have to have to adapt to this. Okay, plus frames. Yep. Nice use yep. of the plus frames, definitely. Yeah. Used to be launch punishable. Now only minus twelve. Thank you, Harada San. <laughs> He didn't even need that perfect brilliance. Yeah. <laughs> Great low berry. Okay, let's see a wall combo, please. Okay, Here second sword. Yes. Yeah. Four, 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 no. Oh, nice back oh. one. Yep. Second seven engine change, getting counter hit out of the front. Mm. Oh, I should have had a bigger punish, but who cares? You got the forward ball. No, 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 no. That's, that's actually for the best, to be fair. If you'd have gone for a cancel, it, 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 the wall carries a bit awkward at that range. Ah. Nice change there as well in the downfall of 144. Uh, Rem went for a duck. Tried to uh, try to end it. It's uh, one step ahead. Okay, so Rem's going to make a bit of a comeback right now. Coop's mm. uh, pretty much tied up. Let's see if Rem can uh, change his place all about a bit. There we go. Nicely done. Back force shut down the forward four. Uh, should have repped it again. Yeah. Just keep it. Just keep it. That's too crazy. Okay, he's going to survive. He will live. Going for the maybe? okay. Oh wow! Oh, that what? Before, what are you saying? <laughs> he didn't even need to rage. Oh, he's just telling him about himself. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Why not? Right? Just do it. <laughs> oh okay. Let's see what effect that has. That's an interesting oh, that finish around. <laughs> I wanted to see a key charge after that. I like. Yeah. I wanted to see total no respect. It feels like that kind of set now, doesn't it? Yeah, it did. Mr. Barge earlier on there. Do you remember the 1 plus 2 whiff entirely? Even on block, that's mm. pretty barge. Thank you. He's ducking quite a lot now, actually. Yeah. Feels like he's got a read okay. on something. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so the amount of times that while standing forward into forward four is it counted it is just ridiculous. Well, it looks... the, th the thing is, while I was in four so plus, you can't sidestep. So you can't sidestep, you can't duck, you can't attack. You just have to take the forward four. Yeah. Oh my god! Okay, um, On the verge of death! Ah. Think Coop's done this. Oh, yep. close, close it out. Close that one's down for one. Great set, though. Yeah, amazing set. Really tight, really well played. Good adjustment from both players. Oh, Division, Division 2 showing uh, showing up. That was, mm. uh, that was some good play. Yeah, really. Uh, I, I mean, it, uh, you cannot call who will come out top on this division. Uh, we haven't no, seen all the players play like, yet, but it's like the championship in football. It's a lottery. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's crazy. But we're getting really <laughs> tight sets. I don't think any set's been five zero in any division so far. Um, no, so... no, nothing three so far. Five yeah. two, I think, was the worst. Yeah. And even then, I, I watched that set back, and that was a close one. Absolutely, yeah. Oh, that's been a great start to the league so far. Now, the, now the question that I've got to ask: When are you updating the leaderboards? So the <laughs> the spreadsheet should be up to date. Um, the website, blame SPD for that because he updates the website uh, and whenever he I'm feels like them. updating it. Yeah, but the, the spreadsheet should be up to date. And if that's not, definitely oh, let me know. Perfect. I can I can do that straight away. So use the spreadsheet as my reference rather than that. Okay, cool. Exactly. Yeah. Sweet. But, but yeah, do you want to shout out any social media links if you want people to follow any anything on Twitch? 
Now's the time. Uh, Twitch TV, my stream is ED underscore Sim, Electronic Dojo Sim. I will be uh, I will be doing a bit of a ranked round uh, over this week. I'm going to be putting some more work into my Mishimas. Um, tonight at 11 o'clock, got to set against Azzy G for life in League One. Oh, uh, yes. I'm expecting that to, I'm expecting that to go 5-4, and, and honestly, I don't know which way it's going to go. Uh, so that should be a good set. If anyone's up, that'll be 11 p.m. Uh, other than that, I'll see you guys around. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think I'll be around to stream that, so feel free to, for one of you to stream it on your Twitches, and I'll just grab the VOD off you, off you guys fair, I whenever. Got, I, I got one of my boys who's good for stream. I've, I've got somebody in mind for that. Uh, cool. Shout-outs to RC. Ah, perfect. Okay. Good stuff. And yeah, just follow us on, on all the social media channels, Midlands Tech In on everything, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc., etc. Cool. Thanks, Josh, and I will uh, catch you soon. Cheers, Zito. See you in the league. See ya.